Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com. Now on this video we're doing a quick interview with Oleg Kizakozov from Promobot LLC. We managed to speak to Oleg at the Inner Robo 2015 Robo Exhibition in France, Lyon. Promobot are residents of Skolkovo Robotics Centre and are a high-tech company which produce a multi-purpose support robot for places with large numbers of people. It is designed to assist in navigation, provide consultation on issues and directions for customers. It can also highlight goods, broadcast promotional information, increase sales and collect relevant information for contacting customers. Right, hi guys, uh, Philip English again. So we're now here with uh, another set of robots. So we've got a gentleman here who's just going to introduce himself and uh, tell us a little bit more about his company. My name is Oleg. Uh, we are from Russia and uh, there is our robot which calls Promobot. Okay. I'm I'm design engineer and we uh, brought robot from Moscow to Lyon uh, for that awesome uh, expo which calls Pro in Robot. Okay, no, no, well it's good to see you guys. I mean, it's a very interesting robot that you got here. So can you tell me a little bit more about what the robot does? Uh, this robot can speak about everything. He has very big linguistic database. He can move without touching something. He will recognize your face and uh, recognize your speech. And uh, that absolute autonomous robot help we, uh, in the places with a big sound uh, and the big traffic. Today there are 40 robots works in the city malls, expo centers, cinemas, airports and help uh, to persons find some information which they need. Maybe uh, one time you come into airport you can find your gate for flu and you can choose your language and uh, ask robot please show me where is my gate. He can uh, say come on with me I'll show you and uh, you, you will be Okay, that sounds good. So it sounds like um, a helpful supply robot. So maybe in airports, maybe in supermarkets in the future, but in places where there's people can go up there, they may be lost and they need a bit of help in hand and they can use the robot for, for that sort of thing. Um, so how many have, have, have how many of these robots are in Russia at the moment? Today in Russia works 40 robots in the city malls, cinemas, and we have contracts for 100 50 robots wow. and uh, when you come into Russia you will find uh, them everywhere uh, it's a question of time and now we are going to another market to European and we find partners in Europe that good for find that and for international development of markets. Okay yeah so so you're mainly in Russia but now you want to sort of go out into Europe go over to America try and push the product out so is this like version one uh, of a robot and is there going to be a version two, a version three or? There is a second version of our robot. Uh, there is a new design, the new software, new electrical architecture. Uh, now we go and develop to the third version and we are uh, developing other linguistic databases in other languages. Okay, so how many languages has this robot got? Today, today he speaks on English and on Russian. Uh, Russian linguistic database is very big. Okay. English is still is still poor, but we are working uh, on that. Okay, well, uh, thanks very much, and uh, it's good to get a good overview of the robot, and we'll keep an eye on you guys. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Have a nice day. You too, thank you. Brilliant, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the overview, and I want to say a big thank you to Oleg from Promobot LLC for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about Skolkovo Robotics Centre or Promobot LLC, I've put in the links below for your review. Now if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.